Mr. Sasa. Contestant number Kuminatano, Hoyce Bakanoba. Hoyce Bakanoba, Shiriki number Kuminatano. Yeah, na Shikiria. Moja and Fasi Kuinitano Bora Hizi. To be back in a Fasi Moja to Barbara. 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 Mm -hmm. This is the most important moment of the night. I know. Because there's just one spot tonight. And one of these girls' life from tonight will change forever. Very true. Barbara, now I'm going to tell you, Mshiriki Watano. Oh, you're going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, Barbara. And I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm going to tell you. And this is... Contestant number 20, Yvonne Paul. Yvonne Paul, Mshiriki number Ishirini, and I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Miss Tanzania 2020. Woo! I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Hatua ya kupata mshindi wa usiku huwa leo. Congratulations to all of you. You all very well deserving of the title. Baada hapo bila kupoteza muda, awali tuliweza kuona washiriki wote katika kuelezea ya project zao ambazo ni Beauty with a Purpose project. Hizi ni project ambazo project za kwanza kijamii, maswala ambayo yanatuguza kwenye njia mbali mbali, kwenye afya, kwenye masuala ya watoto, kwenye masuala ya mazingira na kadhalika. Baada ya hapa sasa, washiriki mmoja mmoja wataanza kuelezea uh, uh, beauty purpose lakini wa, watachagua waamuzi ambao waamuzi hawa watauliza maswali kutokana na project zao ambazo tayari zimefanywa kazi waamuzi judges wameshaziona naona judge mwisho mpoto anajiweka sawa kabisa pale kwa ajili ya kuweka microphone naomba nianze upande huu hapa na Rose Mafere mshiriki number 14 Rose how are you feeling tonight I'm overwhelmed you're overwhelmed do you look beautiful you should be very very proud of yourself Rose, ungependa uchagwe muamuzi yupi kwa ili ya kukuuliza swali yu ya projekti ya kwa Beauty with a Purpose? I choose Judge Madam Masila. Rose has chosen Chief Judge Masila Kaluba Mwanukuzi to ask her on our Beauty with a Purpose projects. Rose Manferi, mshirika kwa kumina nene, ame mchagua Masila Mwanukuzi kumuuliza swali kusiana kwa liti yake. Chief Judge Masila, karebu kwa ke. Once again, congratulations to all the girls. Congratulations also to those who didn't make it. As always, there always has to be a winner. Um, Rose Manfere, what is your Beauty with a Purpose project? Can you remind the viewers once again? Thank you. My Beauty with a Purpose concerns children with autism spectrum disease. Autism it's a serious non-developmental disease characterized by challenges with communication and repetitive behaviors. It is a spectrum, meaning that each, each autism individual varies from, brains vary from each other. It's okay, don't worry. Okay, so why um, did you choose that project and how do you think um, you, as Miss Tanzania, you make a difference in the project that you've chosen. I've been living in a society where there was presence of autistic, autistic individuals. And this thing has pushed me in more wanting to know more about them. As I, Miss Tanzania, I've been wonder, wanting to know more and learn more about autism in Tanzania. And my aim is to raise awareness in improving lives of autism in Tanzania. And furthermore, build more schools. And furthermore... A round of applause for Rose. Rose, congratulations. And furthermore, emphasize campaign that could curtain bidding more schools for autism. 
autistic individuals in my country. Thank okay. you. Very well said, Rosman Perry, contestant number 14, ladies and gentlemen, Makofi Bakke. Rose's project has to do with autism. Up next is contestant number 11, is the lovely Juliana Rugamisa. Juliana, how are you doing tonight? Yes. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very grateful. Great. Juliana, which one of the judges would you like to ask you on your Beauty with a Purpose project? Mr. Mrisho Porto, ndo ambaye mwamuzi ya mchabuliwa na Juliana Rugumisa. Mshuriki namba kumi na moja kumuliza juu ya projekti yake. Karibu. Juliana, unaweza uka rudia tena kidogo projekti ya kutafadhali. Asante. Projekti ya unaitua ability to disability, au uwezo pasipu na uwezo. Na ni kwa ajili ya kwa segea watoto wenye ulemavu wa viungo. Unaotokana na imani potofu katika jamii. Pamoja na jamii kudhani kwamba unasisho na ushirikina. Na project yangu nimeifanyia katika wilaya ya Same ambayo ni kati ya wilaya tano Tanzania zinazoongoza kuwa na watoto wenye ulemavu na asilimia tisa nukta tatu watoto wenye ulemavu Same vijijini peke yake ndo wanaopata elimu. Kwa hiyo nimechagua project hiyo kwa ajili ya kwanza kutoa elimu kwa jamii kwamba ulemavu sio laana wala ulemavu sio kukosa uwezo wa kufanya kitu. Lakini pia kitu kingine ambacho ni cha muhimu zaidi ni kuwafanya watu waone uwezo katika mtu mwenye ulemavu. Yaani waone kama mlemavu anaweza kufuma, anaweza kutuka, anaweza kuchora na sio mtu akimwona mtu mlemavu aone ule uwezo ambao anaofanya. Lakini kitu cha tatu ambacho ningependa ni kuikumbusha watu wenye watoto wa ulemavu wasiwafiche ndani na wajue kwamba na wenyewe wameumbwa na Mwenyezi Mungu. Hivyo basi ningependa kuwakumbusha kwamba kuna wafadhili wengi sana ambao wapo tayari kusaidia watu wenye ulemavu na mimi naweza kuruhusu na kuwa mmoja wa watu ambao wapo wapo wanawasupport hao watoto wenye ulemavu asante sana asante sana Juliana Rugumi some shirk number 11 sijamaliza sijamaliza kwa nini urembo Projekti yako inaonekana ni projekti ambayo ni andani kwa ajili ya Tanzania sisi tuelewe. Tunakuchagua, unataka tukuchague kama balozi wa Tanzania duniani. Unataka kwenda kuambia nini kuhusiana na watu wa Jeroma? Unataka kuambia kwamba sisi tuna stigma hapa kwetu Tanzania? Hapana. Mm. Lakini kwa sababu hata mimi wakati nakuwa niliweza kupitia changamoto mbalimbali kutokana na muonekano wangu refu na wembamba sana. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nashinda ndani na ugopa hata kwenda nje watu wasiweze kuniona jinsi nilivyo. Kwa hiyo nina ninapata changamoto na ninajua jinsi mtu anajisikia akiwa anafungiwa ndani au kutokana na uwezo alionao. Kwa hiyo nimetumia urembo kama jukwaa ambalo nitatumia sifa nilizonazo kuwakilisha hao watoto wenye ulemavu katika kuleta. Asante sana. Asante sana, Judge Mpoto Tumemaliza. Asante. Mshiriki anayefuata ni Priska Limo. Priska, how are you feeling tonight? I'm very grateful, very You are grateful. looking great in red. Thank you so much. Priska, which one of the judges would you like to ask you a question on your Beauty with a Purpose project? And in what language would you like to use? Barbara Hassan. Barbara Hassan, indeed. Barbara Hassan, do you want to move to Nae Priska Limo kuweza kumuliza swali kusia na kujitapas project yake Barbara Karibu sana mamuzi Barbara Hi Tari, kiswahili yao kengereza? In English please Okay um, I'm sure everyone would like to know more about your project Briefly If you don't mind Okay My beauty with the purpose project is concerning with flood I am one of the victims of that cause. My community have experienced flood to the extent that when they see rainfall, they start having fear. Fear of losing their lives, losing, losing their property, and even their homes. People in my community have lived in a, in a home, they live in a, in a community that they don't have homes, they don't have toilets, 
they go to their neighbors to do their thing. Imagine that. And that's something that happened in my community so much. I've, as a youth and as a Miss Tans and a contestant and as a victim, I go to my local community and, and find out that 119 people in my community have experienced this and lost their properties. As a victim, I said, I want to do more. And I, want, I went to regional commissioner and talked to interior ministry and be an ambassador of Uspi Mengubuyamadi because 76% of people dying in Tanzania because they want to cross flood water. And I want this cause to end right now. And I said, let me take the stage of Miss Tanzania platform to educate, influence, and spread awareness about this cause. Because I believe together there is our strength and division there is our weakness. Thank you. Is your project going to be national? Yes, it is. I believe that through this short period of time, many people have experienced flood. We have seen how Jangwani Road was being blocked. People didn't go to their jobs. People didn't go to their schools, even go to hospital because of flood. It has occurred in Simbazi. It has occurred even in Mwanza. Lindy, people have been dying because of this. And I said, let me... Take me stands on your platform to make sure that I raise my voice as loud as I can. Not so that I can shout, but people who don't have voice can be able to survive from this. And I hope we can join hands together and raise awareness about this cause. To eliminate this cause because I'm one of the victims of this. And I hope that Tanzania will hear me and even the government, the foundation, the organization to join together to tackle this issue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Priska Limo. Up next is contest number 15. How are you feeling, my dear? I'm really good, thank you. Yeah? Good to see you once again. Which one of the judges would you like to ask you a question on one of your Beauty the Purpose projects. So far, there's Judge Serafin and Judge Anita Rombiza. Asante, manome ane mfata mrisho mpoto mkono wakiwa kulia. Ame mchakua Judge Serafin kutoka Serena Hotels. Serafin, kabi sana Judge Serafin. Nagyo mefanya kazi kubwa sana. Tayari kwa jila kumuliza swami. Asante sana. Ungependo kutume kiswaili o kingereza? Kiswaili itapisa. Asante. Asante. Tangu nilipo kuwa nikiwa mdogo, niliaidi kwa sababu mimi nimezaliwa nikiitwa Miss toka nikiwa mdogo, na hata nikakabidhiwa kwa Mrembo ambaye alikuwa mshindi wa Miss Tanzania 1999 hoys. Hivyo basi nilikuwa nina ndoto na niliahidi kwamba chochote nitakachokileta kwenye jamii yangu nitakielekeza moja kwa moja kwa watoto wa kike. Hivyo basi kutokana na mimi kuwa mpenzi wa kusoma vitabu niliona ni matokeo gani ambayo tunaweza tukayapata tukiwa tunasoma vitabu binafsi yamenidhuru na yaletea faida hapo mpaka leo ninasimama na nina uwezo wa ku wa kuongea mbele za watu namna hii ni kwa sababu pia nimejisoma vitabu hivyo basi mradi wangu mimi unahusiana na kumuinua mtoto wa kike lakini pia kumkumbusha nafasi yake ambapo atasoma vitabu na ku keo kwa ajili ya kujenga taifa lakini pia kuenua viongozi bora kwa sababu katika nchi nyingi za Afrika hata dunia nafasi ya mwanamke katika uongozi bado iko ndogo sana ambapo hata ikifikia wakati mwanamke akipata nafasi ya uongozi bado watu wanalipokea katika hali ya mshangao inamaanisha bado nafasi ya mwanamke katika uongozi inahitajika sana hivyo kupitia kusoma vitabu tunaweza kujua historia zetu tunaweza kujenga na kujua nafasi zetu kusudi la kubwa kwetu hivyo basi kama mrembo na kama mwanafunzi wa chuo cha utumishi wa umma niliyepata mafunzo ya utunzaji wa kumbukumbu ninafahamu kwa undani zaidi umuhimu wa kujua historia umuhimu wa kutunza vitabu umuhimu wa kusoma vitabu asante sana As asante sana kupitia taji lako la Miss Tanzania unatarajia kufanya nini kuhamasisha usomaji wa vitabu na jamii kujua umuhimu wa kina mama kwenye jamii Asante sana kwa swali 
um, usomaji wa vitabu haudhuriwi wala hausumbuliwi na kutokuwepo vitabu kwa sababu hata sisi watu wote ni mashahidi kwamba maktaba zipo lakini pia hazitumiki inamaanisha shida sio uwepo wa vitabu shida ni taratibu na, na tabia ya kusoma vitabu hivyo basi mimi na mimi kama msichana mwenye sauti ya ujasiri nitaanza kwa wazazi na walezi au kupitia wao ya baadaye ni ya kanisa kijamii yanaanzia kwenye familia hivyo nikianza kwa wazazi ni kuhamasisha walezi wa watoto kwa msingi watoto wanapokuwa analiwa nyumbani tabia ya usomaji wa vitabu itakuwa kwa, kwa kasi lakini pia italeta matokeo chanya asante sana Asante sana Jack Serpent to Rebecca au kuna swali lingine? Sawa sawa. Baada ya hapo sasa amebaki mshiriki nambari 20 si mwingine bali ni Yvonne Paul. Yvonne asiaje? So excited to be here today. Sawa sawa Yvonne basi tuambie uh, ungejisikiaje kwa sababu judge ambaye amebaki hivi sasa ni Anita Rombiza tuambie utatumia kwa lugha ya Kiswahili ama lugha ya Kiingereza kwenye kuelezea juu ya project yako kitu kama this English please English it will be judge Anita Rombiza from Serengeti Brewers Thank you my dear Yvonne you told a story that you were told no you cannot do it but yeah. look at you now today yeah. you have done it congratulations Thank you so much So my dear in a brief uh, note what is this project of yours why is it so passionate about being um, ambassador for malnutrition in Tanzania okay. thank you so much good evening once again ladies and gentlemen actually my beauty with purpose is all about malnutrition to children under 5 years old in the community and as a young advocate of health i started looking in way that i could come up with a better solution so that I would stop this problem because I believe if we all need to change or we all need to lead development we need to start with the foundation of the health of babies. So my main goal of the project is to ensure that I raise awareness, I contribute my work and with other social organizations so as to raise awareness to on ways to prevent malnutrition to on the first 1000 days because this is the very important days. And the second thing is I would love to raise funds so as to provide maternity facilities for pregnant women so as to provide that that friendly environment for them to give back to health babies but i just sat and i started looking that this too i know that's a sustainable solution for the problem so my main goal is to ensure that i come with different social organizations to, to create and grant entrepreneurship training to these women in this community as we know if anyone here has ever grown up in a village where by your mother just depends on agriculture and when it's climatic change you don't have anything to eat you just have one meal so if i'll be able to grant those skills to them and be able to make them be financial active i believe they can be able to provide those basic opportunity to their children that even my mother gave me that to them here is because of her so i believe it's also my responsibility to give back to those children that benefit for them to become the start of their dream thank you thank you thank you asante now um, you are this world tanzania you're back home in tanzania you have a platform you have much bigger audience three things i want to know how are you going to raise awareness um, we need to make this plan of yours alive how are you going to get the what strategies are you using to make sure you are going to get funds and lastly Tanzania needs to change how are you going to change perceptions of Tanzania when it comes to malnutrition okay let me start by your last question yes. actually my main aim is to change mentalities on especially on nutrition behaviors because mothers caretakers and women are the key of shaping nutrition behavior So my aim is to ensure that I start first with these people by informing them by giving them that that information which is very important to know that what food to eat what um things to go do when a woman is pregnant and to to uh, emphasize effective breastfeeding to them so that they can also change their mentality not only just believe that I not I just need to be rich so as to be healthy no but we need to eat something that we have in our 
homes. And as a resort, if God grant me that opportunity, I've loved to use um, 